The simplest method to observe the bird's activity in the bird box is to put a tiny camera into this bird box. So we can watch the live feed from this camera on the mobile phone, computer, even the big TV. What we need to pay attention if we want to build our own bird box to work with the camera. The camera works quite similar to human eyes. It needs good light to produce the beautiful color image. We are not going to see things clearly in the dark even if we have good vision, right? Unfortunately, there's only one entrance on this bird box which can introduce the light. If you have the poor color image from your camera properly, the lighting condition is not good inside your bird box. The simple solution is we can add a hole to introduce more light to this bird box. It will improve the color image a lot. But make sure you got this whole cover to stop the predators. The snack or the squirrel could enter your bird box through this hole and eat the edge, even kill the birds. If one hole is not enough, you can put another hole on the set different side to introduce more light. We also had improvement from the camera. This camera has the daylight LED and the infrared LEDs. You can set the schedule to let me turn on this cover. You see the yellow LED is the daylight LED and the white LED is the infrared LED. You can set the schedule to turn on the daylight LED. Make sure that you're using the daylight LED date, not night, because we don't want to jeopardize the bird's breeding schedule. And the daylight LED will improve the image at date in the low light condition. How about the night? We have no daylight. Then the infrared will take over. The camera will turn on the infrared LEDs automatically in low light condition. Meanwhile, it also will change the video to black and white. We will no longer have the color image after the camera turns on the infrared. It is a technical issue since the infrared will interfere with the sensor to produce the color image, we have to remove the color after it turns on the infrared. You may even see the black and white image from the camera at date if the lighting condition is poor inside this bird box. That's why I said adding a hold to introduce more light to this bird box can improve the color image a lot. Now we got the lighting challenge handle, let's move to the next challenge, air condition. The camera is the device which will generate the heat. It is better to let out the hot air before it is accumulated and increase the temperature inside. We have to make some gas so the hot air can let out from this gas. On the bottom, we also preserve four holes so the cold air can flow through these holes, reach the top of the roof that spread outside. So it allows the cold air to exchange with the hot air. But there's one concern after we make the gaps, since now the rain or the water also can enter this bird box. Eventually it could splash on this camera, damage your camera if your camera is not waterproof. If the ca you can see the lens from outside, that is not the waterproof version. Fortunately, this is the waterproof bird box camera. We don't have this concern. Otherwise, you may want to make this roof large to protect the rain going to inside. These two factors are primary concern for a bird box to work with the camera. There's other concerns for the bird box. We have put this platform so the birds can, could have a more comfortable way to enter this bird box. And this diameter of this entrance is crucial. It determines what kind of birds or the size of the birds can enter your bird box. You don't want the large birds to chase the small birds in the future. So you may want to res research to figure out what is the best diameter for the bird box around your area. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please leave a message in the comment section below.